Have you heard about the new JN1 variant that's recently been identified? With the constant evolution of viruses, it's crucial to stay updated on the latest developments. The JN1 variant, much like its predecessors, emerged as a result of genetic mutation. These mutations occur as the virus multiplies and spreads, a common phenomenon in the world of viruses. Consequently, understanding the variant's epidemiology is vital. Epidemiology is, in essence, the study of disease distribution and determinants among populations. It helps us understand the who, where, and when of disease occurrences. For the JN1 variant, studies reveal that it has been identified in several countries around the globe. Although the first cases were reported in a specific region, international travel has facilitated its spread far and wide. Now, on to the symptoms. If you've been following the news on previous variants, you'll find that the symptoms of the JN1 variant are strikingly similar. They include fever, cough, loss of taste or smell, and difficulty breathing in severe cases. However, researchers are also noting additional symptoms such as fatigue, muscle or body aches, and sore throat. With this knowledge, you might be asking, how can one protect oneself from this variant? Precautions for the JN1 variant are no different from those for other variants. Maintain social distancing, wear masks, and ensure proper hand hygiene. These steps, although simple, are the first line of defense against the virus. Moreover, vaccination remains a critical step in combating this variant. Although the efficacy of vaccines against new variants is a topic of ongoing research, preliminary studies suggest that vaccines continue to provide protection against severe disease and hospitalization. In summary, the JN1 variant is a newly identified variant of the virus that causes COVID-19. It's been detected in several countries due to the virus's ability to mutate and spread. The symptoms are similar to those of other variants, but may also include fatigue, body aches, and sore throat. Protection involves the same precautions as before, social distancing, wearing masks, hand hygiene, and getting vaccinated. Remember, staying informed is the first step in staying safe. Knowledge equips us with the power to protect ourselves and those around us. So let's continue to keep learning, evolving, and adapting in these challenging times.